Alrighty guys, welcome back to Basaria. Apparently, uh, when I started up, it said the uh, ship the expedition was back. And you can see that little uh, boat icon down there in the bottom right. So let's go check that out. Take a look at this. Two losses and a win. This recipe looks real tasty. Fresh fish pirate platter. I guess just setting sail. Continue going out there. I don't think we have any more, like, places we could even go if we wanted to, so. Oh, let's continue on to, uh, Logris. Grab up all these items. I think something was over here. Yeah. Wait, five tail points. The heck is that? Yeah, they said there was a code red demon out here, too. Maybe we can find him and see if he's hard or not. Oh, probably could go up there, but I suppose we can't. I did not see the snake in that grass, I gotta say. The heck? Just do like a little barrel roll? Oh! That's Aizen's art. So I guess he did have some. All right, so I guess Unarmed, hardly. These are at the beginning of each battle, each character regains an amount of PG based on the total number of stars gained throughout the repeated art usage across all characters' art. Provided it's to use every single art available, right? So I guess um, the AI, the allied AI, can actually use the uh, hidden arts themselves. Dangerous encounter. What? I didn't just say dangerous and count. Like everybody but Aizen has uh, three um the gauges, but I don't know if they're gonna use it or not. Oh, I guess it said it was a deadly encounter because multiple enemies keep coming in, I imagine. Oh, get out of here, sneakies. Not sure who we should be focusing on here. It keeps stunning me, though. Oh, there we go. Form Zero Thunder? Damn, all that fireball. That was tougher than I would have liked. Was quite a fight indeed. Lots of items. I guess there's a crossroads here. I'm not sure which is the correct. Oh, apparently, that one. Let's go check out the other area actually first. Since it's so close, we can just hop on over. Okay. I don't... Oh, that water looks like oil. I'm not entirely sure we can get up here. There's a cap it's over here, though. 95. I don't have enough of that. Doesn't seem to be, like, a reasonable place to farm that, either, if I wanted to. Odorless fluid. Okay. Meal. Even if I wanted to farm up these uh, mana ore pinkies, definitely want to do it on recording. That would be quite boring. Well, I guess there was nothing over there really besides the cat box, which I can't really get at the moment, anyways. So let's go the way we're supposed to go. 
I got Magi that was with us. That's Logris, the capital of the Empire. They keep demons out by enclosing the city within a great wall. Humanity has achieved great things on the backs of slave Malakim. Why the surprise, Lafayette? You've been here before, right? I have. But back then, I was not who I am now. I see. Tethered Malakim aren't even allowed the freedom to observe their surroundings. We'll soon lose such freedom ourselves. Huh? We've reached the heart of the Empire and of the Abbey. Soldiers and exorcists are stationed all around. This is no place for a collection of villains like us. Really? I'm not looking for a place. All I need to find is Artorius. That's it. I doubt we can walk through the front gate. What? How do I go down there? I need those items. Get out. What the heck? He was so fast. The enemies really gone faster lately. He used to be able to juke them before, but now... That was just screwed. Case us down to the end of the earth. Get out of here, snakes. There's just so many enemies. Trying. There we go. Sorry to cut you down. Said dark and light like 30 times, I swear. I like how these mobs are so close to the people. Let's see if I can go around here and get those items. Just some guards over here. Uh, yep. Okay. I don't want to go there anyways. I just want... To... It's like a four tail coins. I'm not sure what that is. Even these things are fast. Like how Aizen got like right next to the creature and decided, you know what, I'm gonna use my magic. Then he got knocked out of it. Now we're overpowered. Four v one. Got it. Victory is ours. A beast fang blade. I like rope rose uh, blades. I think they're really cool looking. Wow, this actually. Wow, that looks so cool. What the heck? It's actually stronger than what we have now. Guess I'll put it on. See what we got here. An earth earth. Earth, try to slip on by. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. Um, they're obviously not going to list in the city. An inspection. They won't inspect everyone. Just act natural. They don't look natural. Their face is all stiff. I know. <laughs> but they've li literally just let us walk right through it. You, in the black coat. Show me your documentation. Just kidding. Uh, um... Well? Your travel permit from the Abbey? Where is it? <laughs> Foolish girl, how many times have I told you? A magician's apprentice must wear a pleasant grin. Magician? Verily, I present to you the traveling troupe of mischievous misfits known across the land as... Magilu's Menagerie! Boy. Entertainment for the ceremony? Why, yes, indeed we are, my dear. Please, pardon my uncouth apprentice. 
Girl, allay the good man's fears and show him the dub trick you've spent all these weeks on. Go to. Huh? Oh no. Oh, uh, sorry, mistress. I forgot to. Oh, be mad. You, you, you pathetic little shirker! A proper performer is perpetually prepared. It's fine. Doves flying around would be a nuisance. No, this will not do. If you cannot summon a dove, then act like one. Act like a dove. What the heck? Cool, cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, she's embarrassed. Whoa. Oh, the witch finally did something. Here, move along. Maggie Lou, best character. She saved us. <laughs> that was a fine ploy, Maggie Lou. Well, don't expect tricks like that every day. Cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that murderous gaze. Cuckoo. Those doves were amazing. Just a crude trick. If anything, it just shows the Capitol's defenses are pathetic. More like it shows how much confidence they have in those defenses. How many soldiers are here, Lafayette? The number of exorcists in the Capitol? At least a thousand. And two divisions of guards. I'd expect no less from the Capitol. They're not careless. They're covered. We need transit documents. See how the citizens smile? To think they were fleeing from demons just a few years ago. To hold an observance of this scale shows just how much peace their power has brought. A peace paid for with Luffy's velvet. At least we got in thanks to the Magilu's genius idea. I told you she's the best character. I guess we can go around looting everything as per normal, per usual. Looks like I have a few people to talk to. Right now, Prince Percival is the one ruling Midgand. He's the crown prince. The crown prince? What happened to the king? The king is in good health, but he's decided to withdraw from public life and leave the kingdom to Prince Percival. He declared that a new way of thinking was needed to save the world from this crime. <laughs> This king sounds like quite the guy. Prince Percival is incredible, too. He's following in the footsteps of the king by working hand in hand with Lord Artorius. And as long as we have Lord Artorius and Prince Percival, the future of Mid Got it. So all of Midgand is on a. I mean, that was kind of obvious, I would say. Just like fruit over here in the corner. The Abbey's job is getting harder and harder. We've all got to get... Uh, let's backtrack a bit. Just what sort of organization... You're kidding me. How do you not even know that... The Abbey is part of Midgan's Church of the Empyreans. Originally, it was an order of paladins. Oh, paladins. Yeah. The Abbey's official name is the Exorcist Abbey of the Church of Midgan. I'm impressed. What a name. You've done your research. So basically, they're just one branch of the church, right? For a side branch, of course not. The high priest entrusted all his power to the Abbey's leader, Lord Artorius. So the Abbey's leader is at the top of the entire church. That's not all. The prince also gave Lord Artorius authority over all military and government affairs during the crisis. Lord Artorius commands Midgan now, and has formed a new theocracy. And that is the origin of the Holy Midgan Empire. Well, okay, got it. The Abbey's... Artorias are from just like a guy, a father, a stepfather, I don't know, in like some small little town to basically King Daddy of like all these thousands of men controlling governments and shit. Like, oh, what a step up. I guess if we find enough uh, orbs, we can go back to that chest. And uh, open it.
I'm not sure how many orbs are going to be laying around the city, though. He looks pretty circus-like. And now what's happening at the cap? A lot of guys. I wonder if we're gonna have to fight them or not. Probably upgrade some gear if possible before we do anything. Something over here. A lot of block corners. Heck, lab. Silver chest. Oh, wait, I can climb this? I can climb. Interesting. But I got some armor. Not really better. I wonder what's up there that I can climb. I'll check it out after this. Oh, this is actually really good for, uh, Aizen. Don't mind if I do. This is good. For a lot of percent. This is good rope. Alright. These new items. I got something for Aizen. What's this? I think it was, yeah. See if we can get any enhances. Damage against stun foes plus 10. That's probably fine enough. Um. I just got this rising and some plain paper philosophy set. I assume we can upgrade armor and maybe the rings and stuff as well, but not entirely sure how useful it is. I feel like we don't take too much damage, and even if we do, they uh pretty much heal us. Lofty set I think heals us. So it's pretty good. Oh, it's cat chest. Bot. There's another chest here for 95. Oh, I'm not sure we're gonna have enough for both of those. I just have to pick which one we want. If we can get enough, even. Yell at me. I'm guessing somebody's. Yeah, the prince is the gonna talk. Are coming too. I'm sure they will, dear. People are saying it's going to be a very important announcement about- I want to see the exorcists! We need to thank them for saving us from the demons! You're right. We all have to show them our gratitude. Yeah! I'll follow the Fucking I like sure that. Popular. Because these people don't know the truth. You think that's so? That the exorcists are fighting the demons they themselves cannot. <laughs> well, I guess they do sound like heroes in that sense. How did I walk back? Is there something over here? Oh yeah, how did I miss that? Let's save it again since we did some upgrading. Oh, looks like that's the end. Let's walk over here and see if anything happens. Oh. Oh. I keep standing like that. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe we'll try leaving. Through, uh, whatever that door. Oh, yeah, I see the star over there. Uh, 
Uh, I think there was something over there, but I guess not. Alright, so let's go up this long walkway. These guards stare us down. Find out what's going on. Listen to those cheers. The royals sure have these folks in line. Subjects, may I have your attention? Okay. Is I, Percival Asgard, Crown Prince of the Midgand Empire. His Majesty, my father, and I are pleased to celebrate with you on this auspicious day. Where is he even at? The ceremony started. It will be impossible to slip in now. After the opening ten years ago, our kingdom faced an existential threat, both from demons and the terrible spread of demon light. However, one man raised a miraculous sword. Oh and no! Stood so that the body and soul of is the here? would not be lost. You can climb up if you want, but attacking now would and be suicide. And the name of that man was Artorius <laughs> Colbrand. Oh. She's gonna make a scene, ain't she? None here, I trust, are unfamiliar with Artorius' noble act. To bring us salvation from demons, he sacrificed everything. But he's a murderer. Where's she even going? He called Lord Inominat, one of the five Imperians, and blessed us with the strength of the Malachi. But he's a murderer! I mean, you're a murderer too. He serves as a shining beacon of reason in this world of turmoil. And reason is what binds us. But you killed him. You took everything that I loved. So raise your voices in praise to Artorius' devoted work. To the Savior who purifies evil and guides our flock. Let us call him your arm away so they see you. Hey. Oh, that was way more people than I expected. Oh, we actually get to see him? filled with suffering I had to ask something tremendous of you all I entrusted you to endure the pains of reason I asked you to bind yourselves with shackles of your own will Oscar For the only blade that can extend another blade humanity is one forged from unshaking reason and the iron will to do what must be done And now that very blade stands ready before all of us today. I offer my body and my life in service to the people of this great land. With the blessings of the Empyrean Innominat, I will guide you to a world without calamity. And this world's suffering will be nothing but a distant memory. That outfit, though. But you're the one who murdered. Fool, I'll see us. Oh, good guy, Rogue Rogue. Why how did Loppy say get me? Kill Loppy said. What? Oh no, she bleeding. Loppy said did not Loppy said too did not like that. That's who you're after? Just straight up pounce on him. That would be certain death. No, I need a sword of reason and will. That's the only thing that can kill him. Killing Lord Artorius. Playing it safe? Boring! 
Regrettably, it is at this juncture we go our separate ways. I've got a bit of hunting to do. No one's stopping you. Goodbye. Farewell! May your days be fruitful and your nights tormented! If our He's enemy is calling himself a shepherd, he won't be going into hiding. Let's take this slowly. The old man behind him. Melchior, I take it? Yeah. Let's well, gather information dead. on these people. If we know what they're planning, we can find a weakness. They're the most powerful men in the land. If we're going to look into them, we need a lead first. Aizen, do you have any underworld contacts in the capital itself? Like your friend at the port? I don't go inland much, I'm afraid. But Eifried has close ties to a shadow guild. A tavern in the city, run by an old man called Baskerville, serves as a front for them. A shadow guild? Those sorts of things actually exist? Are you hungry? <laughs> that settles it. Let's head to that tavern. They'll have food, I'm sure. Why not? Get here. My stomach made a w The exorcists sure were out in full force to see the shepherd's inauguration, weren't they? Oh, a shitty oh, augury. guy you're after. Was he there? What, and have to stand around looking all proper? Now nah, that's not his style. Then I thought he was one of the top exorcists. That wouldn't matter to him. Huh. All right. Actually, so everybody's after Melvin, one. Speaking of the shepherd, I noticed he wasn't using his right arm. Was he hurt or something? Yeah. He was badly wounded a long time ago. He lost the use of his sword arm. That's what I figured. But don't get the wrong idea. He's still a master swordsman with his left arm. I can tell that from the way he moves. His movements are steady and measured, and his chi is centered below his navel. Huh? Why does that matter? Some people say that all the body's spiritual energy gathers in a place about two finger widths below the navel. Even when he appears to be in a state of total peace, his guard is never down. He's a formidable adversary. And I think I know why my target has placed himself at Artorius's side. Because now I want to take Artorius down too. Oh no. Everybody's like fighting the same group of people. I guess that's why we fit so well together. I'm, I'm not... Wait, we're fighting the guild. Tavern. I assume it's going to be on the other map. Savior of mankind who guided us through the darkness. What an appropriate title. I believe in him. As long as we have Shepherd Artorius. Shepherd Artorius. How pompous can you get? Artorius has already seized. But now that he's making Melvin more angry. Title, he's no longer just an authority. A dangerous opponent. In After seeing that, will of course I will. He could be a god for all. I'll have my vengeance. Oh, is that foreshadowing? Is Artorius gonna be a god in some sense? Oh, my bow has been my bow has returned. Win and double losses. Yeah. Scout oh yeah. Oh. Well the squad menu looked a bit different, but I don't think it did. He freaking we can walk for some reason. Let's we'll see if we can find this tavern. Not sure where it is. Here. Wherever this is. What is this place? I don't think we could go that way last time. Yeah, I think we can now. Excuse me, all. Oh, not where I need to go though. Lord Artorius's speech was so wonderful. I was so worried when the that was a bad speech. We talked. I'm so glad the exorcists put their lives on the line to protect us. We've got to do what we. I want to marry the shepherd when I grow up. Now that's popularity. That dude is old as dirt. I thought this way might have been where the tavern and stuff was, but I don't think that it is. I think it was a 
cave it looks like. Dungeon maybe? That car has like a scarf. Maybe it's one of these, uh, question the mark, uh, rooms. Like this, this building looks shady. It's literally the only building that sticks out. Ah, look at that. We did it. You can just barge into the room. Damn, there's a lot. Go see what the tavern master has to say. What'll it be? Some food for the boy. Mabo curry is our specialty. It takes a week to stew properly. Mabo curry. Some of that then. Say, do you know a man named Baskerville? I heard we might find him here. That old man? A scoundrel and criminal who went against the rules of the Abbey. They executed him long ago. Oh. Oh, he's starved. Velvet, this Mabo curry is amazing. <sighs> you get along so well. Is he your brother? It's a uh, brother no. too. No, he wouldn't be, would he? After all, your brother oh, was shit? made before your eyes. How do you know that? The shadows watch those who flinch from the light. So the guild is still active, even after Baskerville's arrest? That's right. Just like how Ifreen's crew continues their piracy, even without their captain. Damn, so you're how does she contact? know that? What may I help you with? I want to know what Artorius is planning. Information such as that? It won't come cheap. I have here a list of jobs. Not one remotely legal. Take care of all of them, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Uh, search for a missing man. Oil and ambush or destroy. Let's go fight some people. Stop an ambush aimed at the Royal Medical Society on the Denim. Let's do it. Take this with you as documentation. It's fake, but it's a good fake. That's it's the worst piece of paper I've ever seen. It's registered to Mogulu's menagerie. <laughs> oh, was that not the name you gave to the guard at the gate? Well, she got all the I can info. See you're a group to be reckoned with. Report back here once you're finished. I'm more interested in how she knew. Never took place. Got it. I'll cause you no trouble. Her brother got killed. I appreciate your understanding. You're welcome to stay the night. Free. Forget about work until the morning comes. We have a a right. vivid dream. You're missing Captain Ifried. The Lucid captain dream. has done much toward our viability. I promise that I'll share anything I hear about him for no charge. Thanks. All we know is there was a pendulum on the ground at the last place he was seen. <laughs> and that Legate Melchior is connected to the captain's disappearance. How? We don't know. That, uh, the bottle looks like Titan's jacket. Sounds like you've got problems of your own. Do you really have time to take on ours as well? I could ask you why you've tied yourself up with Velvet. Me? I've got a debt to repay. Without her, there's no way I'd have ever found my blade again. Or got Do you mean repaying a debt? Ridiculous. As ridiculous as a pirate mollop, you think? Hmm. 
No matter how you look at it, there's nothing reasonable about our rogue existence. And in this brave new world governed by reason, a rogue can either rage and become a monster like me, or... Or band together with others. Like a ship full of pirates, perhaps. Exactly. I admire Velvet's courage, squaring off against the whole world on her own. If you can accomplish that, it takes strength. Real strength. And I'm curious where it comes from. The heart. So you're doing it for yourself after all. Is that so wrong? <sighs> no. I'm the same. I need allies on my side, with the strength and courage to combat this so-called order imposed by the Abbey. But anyone who's willing to put up with the creed folly of Eifried's pirates <laughs> has to be an even bigger fool than we are. So I'm like you. I want to know how deep her foolishness goes. She'd kill you if she heard that, you know. It's a compliment. Fools that big aren't born every day. Aha. Uh -huh. And I imagine your dear Captain Eifried's much the same. Aye. That man flies his fool flag proudly. What a bonding moment. The Shepherd Artorius, hmm? He's got the populace eating from the palm of his hand. I wonder... Hmm... Just how deeply will the fangs of our would-be tragic heroines scar this broken world of ours? I've got a traitor to find, but in the meantime, this should be a good show. Oh, we got the, the Mabo curry recipe. A kind face for such a hard woman. She knew about me and our cover. She's got ears everywhere. And that's not all. She called the papers fake, but they're not. So she's got spies working on the inside, too. I heard that her predecessor, Baskerville, was a monument against authority. But to think he was executed. They've lost their leader, but remain unconquered. Not an organization to trifle with. That's how they have to be to take on the Abbey. True. We'd better succeed on our missions, and not just to get the information we need. Yeah. Besides, I'd like to get another of those drinks, too. You're a man of taste. That place always has the best. Uh, He's hungry again. You'd better work hard, too, if you want more. I will. I want some Mabo curry. Oh, we're in the bedroom. Well, I guess that's why we could come up here. That card game again? No, I'm good, thanks. Oh, look at him up there. So, somebody means to ambush the Royal Medical Society on the Danan Highway. The Royal Medical Society is a group of doctors that travel around healing the sick. Alarmed by donations given by ordinary folk. <sighs> Why would anyone attack them? Don't ask me. Some people are just twisted. And why would an underworld group defend them? Who knows? Medicine? Something to do with the attackers, perhaps? I think the highway is... yeah, that way. I forgot how fast we could run in circles. Probably just gonna save it here and to come back in the next episode and continue on to the highway and do the medical mission thingy. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.